Today, I'm going to showcase one of my students work after he picked up overbrushing. Then the entirety of the cosmos is accessible to each and every individual mind connected to the great mind, the great spirit. Welcome back to the channel collectors. So in today's video, I taught one of my students how to do the overbrush method. So if you're not sure what the overbrush method is, you should check out the overbrush method. Links will be in the description below. So for this video, one of my students asked me whether he could quickly paint out a flesh eater called army with the overbrush method. And I jumped on the opportunity and said, why don't you just give it a try for yourself? And this was the result. So look at this. This is the really amazing work that has been done by the team. This entire Flesh Eater Court army, as you can see right here, is painted under a week. So, props up to them, man. And mostly using the overbrush method. So, right here, you can see this Flesh Eater Court uh, leader being painted by me. This was done by me as a sample. And while I was painting this, the student was also following. And these are the results. Super awesome, right? It was really fast and really gritty and I'm really happy how quickly he picked up the technique and he has implemented it over the course of one week. During the course of this week, he painted out this entire amazing army of Flesh Eater Court and of course, he had some help from his other friends. So without further ado, I'm going to show you guys the exact method of what he has done and how you can paint up an army yourself using the overbrush method. So if you are ready, let us begin. Alright, so these are the colours that you'll be needing to paint flesh eater cords. I'm also be going to showcase some of the tips which I have given my student so that we can paint up some smooth transitions for this flesh eater cord. The model has already been primed black and currently we are going on with a heavy overbrush of Games Workshop Cabalite Green. So Games Workshop Cabalite Green will be overbrushed onto the entire model and into the shadows so that this will contrast against the orangey skin that we will be painting shortly. So this is the result of the Cabalite Green overbrushing. Currently we are adding in a little bit of Games Workshop Squeak Orange and introducing it as an overbrush on the exposed surfaces to the top. So what this produces, it produces a brownish colour and you don't want the colour jumps to be big because if you understand Cabalite Green jumping to an orange is huge, you got to do this gradually for smooth transitions. And currently right now, we are doing this pretty liberally and just a little bit, you can see the results. So right here, adding more Squeak Orange. What we want to achieve is that Squeak Orange will become the mid-tone. And we're only targeting the above exposed areas. So you just do this gradually so that you can have a smooth organic transition. This is really important because we are painting an organic miniature. So right here, we are adding in Kislev Flash into the mix. So what Kislev Flash is, 
His left flash is a higher value orange and we are going to pick up some of the shapes and highlight the organic form so that the viewer is able to discern what form or shape is the is this flash detail card model what I would say that is you still want to leave a bit of that cabalite green lying in the bottom so you can see it really contrasts against the very warm skin tone that we have just produced right here So right here, we added in a little bit of Vallejo model color ivory. And we're doing a very, very, very light overbrush. So it's almost like a stencil. We are trying to create a very textured look to give it a very old skin effect. So this is the result. So currently we are doing an entire wash down Games Workshop Brickland flash shape. So this will break the model apart and showcase all the little details that have been sculpted onto this model. Remember, you want to wash the entire model down and while the model is drying, take note of any unnecessary pulling and break it off with a brush. So right here, what we are going to do is we are going to do a very very light overbrush of Vallejo model color ivory again to pick up the highest details. So this will really make the model pop. Remember, just do this very selectively, and remember that Vallejo model color ivory should be added in into the mix rather than use pure. So I'm focusing on the rounds of the muscles. To really pick up the details. Okay, right here, what we're doing is we're going to do an overbrush of Zendri dust on all the bones. So this will be done for the bones, will be done for his club and his claws. Same way as the flesh, you want to do this pretty generously at first and then slowly, gradually becoming a little bit more stingy towards the end for the highlights. So the next step, we're going to use Vallejo Model Color Ivory again and with a slightly heavier overbrush, we're going to pick up some of the details but remember, you're not base coating anymore so you just want to create some texture and educate the viewer on the highlights and that's about it. Okay, so now we're going to paint on some little details after painting the bones. I'm going to use Contrast Paint, Games Workshop Warpstone Glow to create the glow of the eyes and to also reinforce some of the shadows such as under the hand, under the legs and this will be the result 
and then right now sorry it's off the camera for a bit what I'm doing is I'm gonna use pure white from Chimera to paint in the eyes really pushing the values here just picking out some details now I'm using contrast paint Volupa's pink to pick on some of the flashy parts such as the nose the knees and the elbows so right here I'm gonna be using a little bit of his left flesh mixed in with a little bit of ivory with Volupa's pink to create a less saturated pink and right here I'm gonna be using Volupa's pink to pick on some of the sores and details on the entire miniature Okay, so right here, we are going to be focusing on the flashy bits such as the knees, elbows, the armpits, the fingers to make the model look a little bit more complex and we'll be showing you the final model in just a little bit Currently, I'm just washing down the, the bones using Seraphine Sephir the teeth using Seraphine Sephir and we'll be showing you the final result in just a little bit Hope you found this good and go paint up your army before you buy the battle force in team so that was the result of him painting his flash cheater called army which army would you like to see painted next let me know in the comments below so that i can plan and try to get some of that content so that you can paint up your army using the overbrush method so in summary the method was really quick and fast so that he can get colors onto the models asap so that he can get his 2000 point game running i think most importantly for tabletop miniature gamers is to have colors onto the miniature and what's a huge bonus is even with an organic looking miniature such as flash eater cords he's able to get this high contrast high pop scheme so that it really really looks good on the tabletop it's part of time like take the time to thank my patrons for allowing me to do this it's through their generous support and donations i'm able to record and paint miniatures so that we get to become better miniature painters together so if you'd like to support the channel do head on to our patreon and become a patreon today for whatever reason you can't become a patreon that's fine too i'd like to thank you for watching all the way to the end so if you could help the channel even further click the like and subscribe and do leave a comment below because it tells youtube that this content is relevant for you miniature painters so that more of you all get to see this tutorial i hope you found this useful and i hope to see you in the next video see you